Hi guys, welcome to QA Automated. In this video, we are going to learn how to locate mobile elements. So uh, first of all, let's see what is mobile elements. Mobile elements are nothing but to, in our mobile application, whatever appears on the screen. That means a button, a text box, a drop down, a date picker, anything. These are called as mobile elements. And here we will run to locate it. So locate it by using ID, by using X path, so that we can perform some kind of action like uh, typing or clicking on it so let's find out about it so to find and locate the mobile elements we are going to use ui automator so to open the ui automator first of all we need path of android sdk to find out path of android sdk here open the android studio click on tools android and sdk manager once you click on SDK manager, you can find the path, then open that same path here. In the Android SDK folder, you will find tools folder. You have to search for UI automator viewer bat here. Double click on it and it will open the UI automator. Once you click on the screenshot button, it will take the device screenshot. So we will open the calculator app in our device and we'll take the screenshot. It will take a while. Okay, so this is this got open, maximize it. And here on click of each button, we can find its ID and its echo. And we can, you know, start locating it. So suppose I want to click on number 8. So I just click on number 8 and here I can find that resource ID is given like this and completely this we can use uh, in our test case. So how we can use this in our test case? Let's check out. So here we have already used uh, this uh, as X path but if we don't want to use X path and we want to use name then we can use that we can use ID. So currently we have uh, taken the ID. So click on five element by five ID, and we can paste this ID, or we can just paste this one and perform click. So this will click by using ID. The next what we can use it we can use if content description is provided. So then we can use that also suppose uh, for example content description is given here assume that it is given as uh, digit A so how we can uh, use the content description is find element by by name so here the API which we are going to use it name so consider this is digit A again same thing so we can use by content description also and whatever action you want to perform you can perform it next is we can use uh, we can use id we can use class so we we just have to change here instead of name we can add class name and we can copy the class name whatever is given here so this will take the class name then if we have for uh, uh, hyperlink suppose and uh, we can do by link text so whatever um, suppose we have a hyperlink here so calculator app it doesn't have but imagine you are testing an application where you are you want to click on a hyperlink then for in that case you can use the text given on the link and if you don't want to give the complete text we can uh, do it by using partial link test also so part if it is given as a link test is click here and you can just uh, right click inside this and it will work okay the next is if you want to uh, if you are having a text box and you want to uh, write something in the text box so suppose this path is given for a text box and instead of click you can perform send keys and you can type the text whatever you want to uh, you know uh, input it 
so that's it for this tutorial so here we have learned how we can uh, use um automator to inspect each element whatever elements we want and we can analyze this to find the x path using resource id using class name using content description or using x path so explore on this more and more and give your feedback in the comment section below please like comment and subscribe thank you